Welcome to another episode of Life of Pain. So we got an emergency, um, an emergency plan of action today. Um, I thought that our fortifications for the chicken coop uh, would be sufficient. They weren't. We lost, uh, we lost Whitey uh, the other night. So we're actually skipping church today because we need to get that chicken coop fortified. I brought out the big guns this time, and we got. Yeah. All hands on deck. We got to get this thing. I mean, I'm going to go into the ground. <laughs> so, uh, we got more chickens ordered. And now you're saying, well, why you guys don't even sound like chicken people? We're, we're going to be chicken people eventually. Um, we just got, got some growing pains to go through. So, uh, follow along. We're going to get this chicken coop. is going to be the Fort Knox of chicken coops by the time I'm done with it. So, uh, follow along. Let's get this project uh, started. All right, chicken wire, we found out, is pretty much just good to keep chickens in and not keep uh, other things out. So, I mean, Anna came up with this solution, which actually worked out pretty good, because this is how the raccoon got in uh, the other day, uh, the other night got in there, and he couldn't get back out. So, let's just say the uh, raccoon, uh, the raccoon's been taken care of, but in case there's other ones, uh, I want to make sure that None get in. Um, that's blood. We won't say from, from where, but let's just say that the threat has been neutralized. This is a sign that we are not in fact chicken people but we are going to persist we will not give up so there was a hole down here in the bottom of the fence and we're like man it's just kind of quiet around here it sounds like something's on the other side of the fence sure enough so the chickens are all the way down there and it's going to try and Maybe bait him with the uh, look, the bag. So, just one more hiccup in the project. To make this chicken coop completely impenetrable, we're going to use hardware mesh. We're going to go into the ground here and there and along that back fence. <laughs> All right, we have to, I have to pause my project right now. Um, I gotta go to a friend's surprise birthday party. Um, we're gonna go meet up with his wife and then the whole surprise thing. So I gotta suspend the project. It's not quite done yet. What you can see though, got this done, the door, part of here. So I made it all one piece going from all the way there all the way down here and we figured the the less pieces that are you know broken up the the less chance of uh, uh something actually getting in all these along there that goes all down in there i'm gonna pack more dirt in there all the way up here under there so the only thing we got left the only thing we got left we've got to get it done today or else these chickens aren't going to make it through the night and let's put this up here i just need to put that there and on that side there and then you can see how it goes down into the ground. I'm gonna pack dirt all over there. I think I think it should be good, although I thought I was good before, and this uh, raccoon has proved me wrong. <laughs> It's getting dark, don't have much time left with you guys, but we are done for the most part of what this is gonna end up with. So, 
To wrap it up, it's getting a little too dark. We've got it all completely done. Landon? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you gonna tell him? Say bye. Bye. No, they have chicken boots, Daddy. The chickens have their food? Yes. All right, gonna try and clean up a little bit. I think we're as safe as we're gonna be. There's probably some improvements we're gonna make. Uh, till next time, thanks for watching A Life of Pain.